do you think then that if they do not accept some form of realistic opposition, uh, hearing the realistically the African voice, there is bound to be a violent end to all this? There's bound to be chaos, that's all I can say. Especially if the African is going to be educated enough. In a way then, it's in the Europeans' best interest not to educate the African. That's, that's quite true. One thing that must be made clear to the British government is that the African people in this country are not at all worried about what political ideology they follow. If communism is going to bring them freedom, they will accept that ideology. And for that matter, I can assure you that Western democracy and civilization is really losing popularity in the country. This, of course, might be turned So by... if the British government and the British people still want some friendship <clears throat> with, the, with the African people in this country, they must see that they satisfy him by, by helping to give him freedom.